as you know, there is a huge amount of excitement about quantum computation, millions and millions and millions of dollars being invested to try to build these devices. And it, do you see a, a scenario within a few years where that's going to be the way to build commercial quantum computers? We do not want to um, proclaim that quantum computing will be done. He suggested always that there would, there would be a new kind of computing. That quantum computing um, is about logical device and everything is systematically done. Why nature, um, 3.5 billion years ago when they created microtubule, they do, nature did not study quantum mechanics textbook. I don't, I don't think so. If you guys are right, you're undervaluing the importance of, of, of what your claims are. Is We're not undervaluing it. You are. So maybe you don't care about want, uh, building you know, commercial quantum computers, but a lot of people out there care about it a great deal, right? So if, it's, if you guys are right, well, if and if, if, if it's, I mean, Roger Penrose might also think that it won't work because gravitationally induced wave function collapse, but a lot of, a lot of people out there invest tens of millions. If, do you think they can build quantum computers using microtubules, even if you're not interested in it? Well, I am interested, but I think it's possible. First of all, let me say that, when, we, for example, when we went to the first qubit of each tubulin is a, is a qubit to the vibrational patterns, it's kind of like a topological quantum computing. I was at the, uh, Roger invited me to the uh, Royal Society in 1998, the first big me meeting on quantum information. And uh, John Preskill gave a talk about topological quantum computing in an orthogonal grid. And I was kind of dozing, and I, I woke up, I said, could that happen in a hexagonal grid, like a microtubule? He said, sure, no reason. So we, we began to develop this, the, the bits, the information, and not the individual tubulin, but the, the helical patterns. And that's very resistant to decoherence. But if you think of it just as pattern, uh, helical resonant patterns, uh, which can interact. I think it's a very robust uh, possibility for quantum, a form of quantum computing. I've always thought that it's possible the same sort of thing might be implemented in fullerenes, for example, uh, car carbon nanotubes. Now, the problem there is to get the consciousness effect. If you're talking about consciousness, you need enough no. E sub G, uh, and, and uh, nano carbon's a lot smaller, so you need a lot more. But on the other hand, you can make as much as you want. So the answer to, to both, I think, is conceivable. Uh, device, either microtubules or fullerenes, something like that, maybe.